So I designed the curtain. And the first thing I did about that curtain was, uh, you know, it's stripes. It's, a, it's blue on blue, like blue, they're, it's a soft blue, like grays, blue grays. And there's two of them. There's two different ones and they alternate in, in a stripe-like pattern. And everyone had just, everyone just has a regular, you know, a straight, well, a lot of blue on late night. And um, it's just always a curtain of, you know, without variation. It's usually just some flat color. And I had recently at that time done a show called the American Comedy Awards, which I designed at the Hammerstein Theater in New York. And it was a rather large set, and it had uh, the final award of the evening was like the, the Johnny Carson Award, which was, you know, like uh, it's meant to uh, obviously be an, you know, you were receiving an iconic Lifetime Achievement Award, and it's the Johnny Carson Comedy Award. And what we borrowed for that was Johnny's curtain the very famous multi-striped um, silk curtain, which is kept here in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, I think it's in Las Vegas actually, in a warehouse that is, you know, uh, climate controlled, archived, there's, it's folded in white paper and no one touches it except with white gloves on and they're dead serious about it and they, they preserve all kinds of tele television memorabilia this way. So, we hired them to bring the curtain and use it. And like I flew in the Johnny Carson curtain as kind of like a little set piece all on its own in the middle of the stage for that show. So I had this kind of idea about, you know what? Jimmy's bringing the Tonight Show back to New York. I'm sorry it was such a long way to get there, but Jimmy's coming back to New York. I think he should do something that that hark, and The Tonight Show was originally in New York, you know, in fact, in that studio. And I thought, we should do something that is a nod to that, but a much more contemporary point of view. So that's why I did the, the multi-stripes, but only tone on tone. It just came from that. And the other thing was, I wanted it to open and close in a really beautiful way. And I knew from years ago with my mother and my brother that the most beautiful, that fabric that makes the most beautiful curtains that flow is, is made, are made of wool. Um, particularly men's suiting or gabardine or any kind of, or worsted wool. Any kind of wool will move beautifully when you, when you open and close it. Um, and no other fabric will move that way. So, um, that's how I, so that was, so there was that. Then, so that's how the curtain got made. And uh, it's exactly where his fabric, the fabric came from um, England and it's absolutely beautiful men's, you could make a very fine suit on Savile Row out of the material that's used to make his curtain. Um, and then um, the furniture. This is the other thing about, you were asking about Conan and, and the size of the desk maybe and this chair. The thing about fat furniture for late night is it's not like furniture you can just go buy in the store. Everything about it has to be, it may look like, you may want it to look like that, but it has to all be custom made. And the reason is you don't want people, you want people to be able to sit a certain way while looking comfortable, but they're going to sit up. You want to make sure that the height of the chair is not exactly the height of what a normal chair will be. It's going to be a little bit higher because it's going to force people to sit up. So there are all these things you take into account when you're drawing this up that are ergonomically going to work for camera, but it's still going to be comfortable and it's still going to look like real furniture. In other words, the proportion is not looking too off. So I designed and built all the furniture for Jimmy. And... Um, and the colors and all of that. So that's what I did for that show.